companies. What are the big companies doing? You know, why is Brickman wearing all uniforms? Because it works. Why is Brickman's trucks always clean and they always look the same? Because it works. You know, what are you, what are the successful companies running? What are they doing? And let's try to emulate them. It's got a commercial nozzle on it. It does have a 10 foot hose. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at this. I didn't expect to have gas in it, man. You know, I've got guys that send me videos. They're like, they're like, they're like, dude, I can't move my mower. And I'm like, dude, you're not doing it right. <laughs> This is your first truck? This is not the exact truck. I had a guy find one for me in a junkyard. And so the first truck I ever owned cool. was a 79 Chevy blue. That's the color of all of our company trucks is that color blue. And so I found a guy to build me a desk out of the front end of a 79 Chevy. That's um, awesome. What's up Stripe Nation? Blake Alvin's here with B&B Lawn Care. I'm here with my buddy, Corey Ballard, here at Ballard Headquarters. Wanted to just real quickly announce that now you can use BB10 as a promo code to get 10% off at ballard-inc.com. Ballard-inc.com. I've watched way too many of his videos you should to know, know that. It. I always say it blows up on Facebook, blows up on Instagram, but yeah, BB10 will save you 10% off everything on the website, guys. We've got about 100 different products. Make you safe, efficient, effective, hopefully more profitable. So we're gonna look at some stuff today and we'll let Blake run the show. It's just, this is his deal. Dang, that, that's pretty cool. Real quick, let's go to this wall. Like, they just have a couple of the products that they sell here. And I thought this was pretty cool to have one, didn't you say sting repellent was in here? It's got sting repellent in it. It's an 88 piece uh, first aid kit. Um, so it's got all kinds of goodies in there, all packaged, tied up. Um, so when you're out in the field, if you have anything that happens, you're gonna have band-aids and wraps and sting repellent. It's even got sunscreen in it, not, not that you need that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, who needs sun, sunscreen well, in this business? Own, but yeah, exactly. Um, if you guys saw, Andy and I last year did a leaf removal video, and his, I think it was a, maybe the push mower literally caught on fire when we were cleaning up the leaves. So you never know, you need fire extinguishers. We have one in the truck and in the, both the trailers, so. Yeah, the fire extinguisher piece is nice. It's compact, throw it behind your seat. Every vehicle should have one. Not only just your mowing trucks too, uh, but you know, it could be your your camper, could be your uh, your racing trailer, your fishing boat. I mean, just it's a simple. Everyone should have a first aid kit, and the fire extinguisher is just kind of a bonus. If you get in a, you know get in a pinch, you can click it and you put out the fire quickly. And by the way, real quick, I forgot to mention, if you watch his videos, he's not just a pretty face that sells equipment. He has a awesome lawn care company. We're actually going to check that out later. That'll be in a different video, but. I just wanted you guys to know that while watching this. These are all products that, like he said, he wouldn't sell them if he didn't think that they would add value and last out in the field. Absolutely. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I, my test is if I wouldn't use them um, and I don't believe in them, you know, we don't sell them. We get pitched a lot of products. So we're getting a lot of guys coming to us with products all the time. Like, hey, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Some are really cool, but if I won't use them, um, that's kind of my test and that's where I kind of say, hey, if I, I can't be, if I, you know, I, I can't sell it if I don't believe in it. So uh, a lot of guys are bringing us some really cool products and that's how we found some stuff that uh, we think will definitely help you out. Uh, check this out. What do you what do you call this exactly? That's a Catch Pro. That's a uh, 4.1 aluminum um, and stainless bagger. First off, it's lighter than my grass gobbler, but one thing that was really cool is the side here and the side here are like a full sheet of metal instead of, it doesn't have holes so you're not gonna get a ton of dust on all over you and all over your equipment. That's like one of my complaints with the grass gobbler. Also, it's just heavy. So yeah, this is 23 this pounds is a lot empty. Lighter. Um, it's got nine different brackets so it's gonna work on all your commercial mowers. Um, almost every brand of mowers from 36 up to 72. Um, we get nine different brackets and the other cool part uh, Blake can probably show you as we've yeah, got a uh, trailer bracket as well. We'll walk over here real quick. Comes with it, right? Yeah, so every Catch Pro comes with the mower bracket you need for your mower. And then um, you can even lock it onto your trailer, which is so when you're, you know, what happens is a lot of these baggers when you're not using them, is at least if you guys are like us, we throw them in the back of pickups, we throw them in the back of on our trailer, they slide around, they get beat up. Um, and so we have the ability to, we send a trailer bracket, you can mount this trailer bracket wherever you think it's um, safe and secure. Can lock it in place it's out of the way 
Um, some guys worry about jackknifing here. You might want to move it over, whatever you're, I don't think you're going to get that tight. But anyways, you can keep your catch pro safe on your trailer or truck when you're not using it and you can lock it so it doesn't get stolen. And if one of these gets damaged, like one of the sides, you can replace just that side so you don't have to buy a whole new one if, you know, you get a hole in it or something. What the heck is this? Uh, this is the Pro Fuel. This is a 15 gallon uh, gravity fed transfer tank. It's got the DOT tag right on top, so it's legal in all 50 states. Dang. Uh, so what's cool about these um, is you're able to put 15 gallons. Some guys are just using them for their mix so they can be consistent with their mix. It's got a commercial nozzle on it. It does have a 10 foot hose. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at this tank. I didn't expect to have gas in it, man. I well, thought... I mean, what do you think? It's a gas tank. <laughs> oh um, it's got the vented cap on it. Um, <laughs> we built this rack for it. it. Doesn't come with this rack, but we built the rack to get it up a little bit out of the way, so you get because it's a gravity feed. So you've got the close-off uh, nozzle here. You can lock that. You can lock this. You can put a padlock right here. Um, in case I come over, <laughs> got gas on my shoes. I'm going to send him a bill. Uh, I just use an aftermarket Velcro strap for the hose, but you, a lot of guys are just putting hooks. So how, you know, however you want to put the, the hose to be safe. But I like it up in the air, out of the way. And then you can still utilize some space underneath it as well. Let's go check out, sorry about the shoes, man. That's, that's my bad. No worries, no worries. Let's check out the uh, most pimp skags over here with the skag uh, rims on it. But uh, this, this is one thing that I have not found on my mowers at all that work. I've went through like two or three of them that just didn't work, the advanced shoot, not the advanced shoot, like yeah. different systems. And I've been trying to find one that worked because I'm so tired of blowing out mulch beds and yeah. it's just a mess. And also, like you said, if you're going over uh, an iffy area, like have a couple of rocks or something in the grass, throw that thing down, that way you're not knocking out windows and things. Yeah, you're still mowing with it open probably 80% of the time, but when you get in tight areas around windows, cars, people, you have the ability to shut that down. We have the regular handle, then we created the extended handle last year for guys with stand-ons because they wanted to get a little closer to them. Um, the handle does look a little bit crazy when it's sticking out like that. But most of the time you're mowing like this, so the handle's up over the engine and out of the way. Um, so really makes a nice all steel, simple, works on all brands. Uh, 48 inches and up. 36s are a little touchy. You might have to modify it a little bit because they're a little too compact. But uh, Vance Shoot makes it nice. It's just uh, we don't have a mower without them. We run 20 plus mowing crews, and first thing we put on every mower is an Vance Really? Shoot. Yeah. And then this is really smart because what happens, especially on the V rides, is I just stick my trash like anywhere I can, but like where my platform is. I just stuff trash in there, and it's always flying out and stuff. So this is super. The garbage goat, that is super. So it comes with, we got narrow hooks here, wide hooks here, so it slides over the seat like we've got on the John Deere. It also has magnets on the bottom, so it depends on what your, where your mower is. Lock it right down, keep it away from the exhaust, obviously in this case, but uh, you're able to put trash in, um, quickly take the lid off, dump it out at night. It's got a hole in the bottom, so if it gets moisture in it, it drains. It's built built to last, it's really nice. You can put trash in there and it doesn't fly back out when you're on the interstate. And I was wondering how that's happening. awesome. They stay down pretty good. Did you see the cup holder? No. We added, we added cup holders for stand-ons too because you know most of these stand-ons don't have a cup holder, so. Right. We added a cup holder for you guys that want to, uh, it's just magnet. There is. Oh, really? Yeah, but it, this thing locks in good. You can throw a water in there. That's awesome. That's nifty. Uh, Let's show them the super jack. This is awesome. He was kind of explaining, if you guys saw at the very beginning of the video, he was like showing you what not to do. <laughs> you know, trying to, like he explained it, you're, you're trying to push it underneath, right? You're not trying right. to lift it's the mower. It's not a pullback, it's really a push underneath. And it just allows you to service your mowers, change your blades, scrape your decks, works on all brands, except for some of the new Ferris with the, the deck based on their baffles, but really simple. Once it's underneath there, you got room to scrape, change decks, clean. I mean, this thing's not going anywhere. Completely safe, secure. You can lift your mower in a few seconds. Some of these guys take them out in the field too. It's got solid tires, non-flat tires. Some guys change blades midday. We used to do that. It's we don't anymore, but um, it allows you the ability to get underneath there and service your mower at any time in your shop. And um, it's safe, easy, and it's man, this thing's built like a tank. It'll last forever. That's. That's awesome. I'm tired of using just the roll jacks, you know? Yeah, I've done it. We've all done over it. the shop. 
That's awesome. Let's, uh, you guys also have uh, rack, I mean you guys have over 100 products? We've got over 100 products. So we got, you know, trimmer racks, trailer racks, uh, trimmer gear, safety gear, mower gear, um, ton of different stuff that if you're in the landscape world, lawn care world, we think there's something out there that you're definitely gonna be able to, to enjoy and make your day hopefully a little bit better. Even headphones so you can listen to music when you're out there working, but more importantly, protect your hearing. So let's show them the sit on. I'm really excited about the sit on. Yes. See, another cup holder right here. There you go. Right. Um, so guys, on the sit-on, um, stand-ons are becoming the most popular machines in the market for a reason because they're compact, they're lightweight, um, and so, and they're cost-effective. A lot of guys are running stand-on machines and so it's we've comfy. got... It is. It's It's because, you know, the platforms already are built with spring in them, every brand already. So we've got the sit-on seat, so it allows you to stand up, run your mower just like normal. When you're running on a day-to-day -day basis, Maybe you're doing, you're running normal, just like this, if you're on hills. Um, but when you get, you know, if you've got some bigger properties, you kind of got the best of both worlds. At any point, take a seat, you can run your mower just like that, take a little fatigue off. This thing is adjustable in and out, up and down. The seat's got adjustable tilt. It's gonna have a quick release, so you can flip your platform up if you need to stack mowers tighter on a trailer. Um, works on every single brand, including the John Deere that has the raised um, center area, we've got a, an extra bracket for the John Deere, so it's going to work on every brand to stand on. This has got a four inch thick seat. It's really comfy. It's actually pretty it nice. It is. Um, it's a, we just got these and uh, they're selling like crazy. Guys are loving them. Uh, but you get kind of the best of both worlds. Guys go, why don't I just buy a zero turn? Well, because I think stand-ons have a, um, they're just a great unit. They're, there's a lot more you can do with the stand-on machine and now you have the ability, if you've got some big sites, use your stand-on machine. And you can get on and off of it really quickly. Yeah, like, it's it's simple. It's a it's a it's a simple add-on. This is something I wanted to show you guys over here. This is so smart. That way you always have a hiring sign. Just throw your number up right there. Yeah. So our cone caddy holds three safety cones, um, and they all come with um, they all come with the sign. So this is an all steel sign that says "Always hiring great people." You can put your phone number right here. You can also, the back side's blank, so if you wanted to flip this around and put your company logo or maybe fall cleanups or spring cleanups or free estimates, uh, you can put whatever message you want on this. I've also seen guys not use the sign. You can order it without the sign and then just put their license plate right here. So right. at the back, so the license plate's not on the fender and it gets all bent up. Or it's zip tied to this. Zip tied, I've seen that. Uh, so they just put their license plate right here. These work on open and enclosed trailers as well. On the enclosed trailer, we. You don't sell it, with, you can get it without the sign. But then right inside the door of your enclosed trailer, you've got somewhere to keep your cones. We put three cones out on every job. Not only is it safe, but it also, I think what's cool about it is people take attention to who's, they see the cones out, and then they kind of glance at, who's working in my neighborhood? What, right. Oh, okay, I see your truck. And then it also kind of creates, you're safe, and maybe I need that guy to take care of my and just these are, they're, I think they're a cool color. Neon yeah. green instead of this orange This is the new color. The, the lighter yellow or older version, so don't be distracted, but that's yeah. the color we sell now. These are the older version that were a little bit more um, yellow. The other thing about having it right here, when you're at a stoplight. Traffic. Right here, you know. And I always think, the other thing people are like, well, what if I'm not hiring anybody? I still think it tells a story about your company. If I'm always hiring great people, which means I'm always looking for right. great people, I'm looking for great clients, it just kind of starts to tell a story. And we're always looking for good people. Even if you're full, you're looking for good people. Because right. maybe a guy's gonna come in and he's a great fit. Maybe you got a guy on your team that you're kind of iffy with and maybe that's a chance to maybe make a replacement. So I, I don't like when you're out of people looking for people. Then you're out of people, then you're looking for people. Right. If, you're, if you're always looking for great people, it just keeps that bench strength stronger. And I, and I like that message. And again, to your point, how often are we in traffic? All the time. Well, and just like you said, I mean, it's showing like clients, like we're hiring great people. Like we want a good employee and good yeah. crew. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So those are some of the products, man. Over a hundred. Check them. I mean, look, like literally as I look around, they got sprayers. We got electric sprayers. We got guys, literally, if you guys need things coming up for springtime for the season, it's a great time of the year. We're moving right into the lawn care season. Check out ballard-inc.com. Yep. Use promo code BB10 to get 10% off. And Corey, I appreciate yeah. it, man. I appreciate you having here. Be on the lookout for, we're gonna go over there and tour. Uh, one of, you have three facilities uh, for your lawn care company. We're gonna go tour one of them and uh, be on the lookout for that. This thing is all full of inventory that'll go out 
fairly quick. My yeah. goodness. But he's, what are the big companies doing? You know, why is Brickman wearing all uniforms? Because it works. Why is Brickman's trucks always clean and they always look the same? Because it works. You know, what are you, what are the successful companies running? What are they doing? And let's try to emulate them and try to, try to do the same things that they're doing. Um, and then if you start that, you can carry that forever because it's hard when you get to a certain point of too big and then you want to turn around and go, oh, now I want to keep my trucks clean. Oh, now I want my guys in uniform. So if you just start the model from the get go and, and you set the expectations, say this is what we expect out of our people, this is what we expect out of our equipment, um, it's much easier because everyone understands the expectations from, from the get go. And they do a quick inspection, they initial it, they're out the road. They come back in, they have a assigned parking spot, they pull their truck in forward, they leave. They have a work order, if anything's broke, we have an app on their deal, they can put that it's broke. I can show you a TV screen that says everything that's broke for the day and if it's a priority. And then, um, so they pull in, they park. That night, a guy will back their truck up, pull it around, fuel everything, pull it around, pull the mowers off, go in. We have an extra set of blades for every mower that are sharpened during the day, the day guy sharpens them. Pulls all the unsharpened blades off, puts the sharp blades on, hangs the, you know, hangs the old ones back up. So when that guy gets in in the morning, his truck should have everything he needs. Uh, now occasionally, we'll have a day where, okay, you know what, today, you know, Joe, you need a 36. You typically don't need a 36, but you're going on that side. It's got a courtyard. You got to do. And so we'll, you know, sometimes we jockey some equipment around, but we really try to be, everybody's got the same two, you know, two trimmers, a stick edger, a back, you know, two backpacks. We try to have, everyone has the same. So guys aren't, you know, stealing a backpack off a truck. Um, most of our stuff's color coordinated as well. So that they know that, or numbered, that that, that equipment stays with that truck. So if, if tomorrow Joe goes over to crew, this crew, we, we're short a guy, he doesn't go grab his mower and his trimmer and, and take it to that. Tr and then it's all screwed up. You know, it's like, that equipment stays with that truck. What the, dude, my, that's my trimmer over there. I'm like, actually, no, it's not your trimmer. And, but no, it, that, it stays with that equipment. You know, that equipment stays there. Why we do it that way? Like, we do it this way because it's safer. We do it this way, you know, this is how we typically mow, or this is how we go around tree rings, or this is how we go on and off islands, or, you know, and so I think it's really important to explain the why just as much as it is how. It's like, oh, well, I showed you how to mow. I know, but did you explain to them why? Did you explain to them why we use safety glasses? Because, hey, you know what? Last year, a guy got a deal on it. We have a guy that got, got hit in the eye, and he, he's, he's going to lose his eyesight in one of his eyes. It's a huge work comp claim. And so it's, it's not, we're not punishing you by making you wear safety glasses. There's a reason we use safety glasses. There's a reason we use, put cones out when we stop. There's a reason that we put the advanced chute down around glass, because we break windows. And, and so we try to explain to them, the why just as much as the as how and i think most guys when they train just so you know you just jump on a mower and i, I show you how to mow right and i'm like that's how you do it but i didn't explain to them i do it that you know i go around the outside twice and blow in because this is why and then i start my pattern or however you know you guys train or do it but yeah. a lot of guys don't explain the why and i think the why is really important because um, at the end of the day we you know our goal is we want you to Come into work safe, we want you to go home safe. We want you to go home to your family, guy or gal. We want you to go home safe. Uh, we want you to go home and, and, and feel like we care about your safety and that it's important that you, that, that, you know, that you're protected while you're out there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the product. This is literally like, what, 15 of your products out of 100? Well, maybe there's more with all the trailer racks, but right. 50 of them, yeah. Right, so go to the website, check them out. Use promo code BB10 to get 10% off. And uh, that's it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching and supporting. See you in the next one. Peace. That's the DOT pad that um, has been when issued call, so that it's legal in all 50 states. Corey so that's answers the, the phone. Pad this pretty cool. Uh, like, is, this is guy's got it right going on, on machine, man. Right on the tank and you get to so talk to him when you're calling about products. It's you know, visible for a sweet. DOT officer, um, and it shows that when they run that number that it, it's legal in all 50 states.